Hey guys, I'm back. How are we all doing? You all seem to have liked my last video on the Chrome Dinosaur AI, so here we go again with another AI video, baby. Artificial intelligence learns how to drive. So lately, I've been experimenting a little bit with Unity, which is a pretty powerful game engine that makes the game making process more flexible than just writing up everything from scratch in JavaScript. And I decided to give Unity a little practice by making an AI that learns how to drive. And I'm not talking about the regular Sunday cruise down the road, checking out the scenery kind of driving. No, no, my friend. I'm looking for the kind of driving. You get me? You know what I mean? What fun is the AI if it can't go fast and do a little bit of a drift? Anyways, enough rambling. Let's get started by first adding the car and making it drift. <clears throat> okay, how do I do that? And the first part is that we need to calculate how much forward velocity the, the car has. Of course, yes, yes. <clears throat> velocity, yeah, that's, that's easy. Come on, that's basic knowledge. This is just a little bit of a knowledge test. Let me just use my own coding skills to write this up and uh, there we go. Let's give this a test and oh shit, that's a bit too fast. We have some serious drifting action, baby. I wonder if you know how they live in Tokyo. Okay, next up we need the map or I should say the track that the AI will have to learn how to drive on. Now, I didn't want to create something simple. I wanted a track that had a decent amount of corners and wasn't too long. And I decided to replicate the actual F1 track from the little country of Bahrain. So for you F1 fans, this is for you. Oh, and before you mention it, yes, I know F1 cars do not drift, okay? But this is my game. And in my game, they do drift. Thank you very much. Oh, and this is where Unity is really useful because I can just stretch out this road texture like you're seeing here and create a nice winding road. Usually this would require some fancy maths, splining and coding if I had to do it myself, but I am way too lazy for that. So this works perfect. Okay, let's give it a try. Right, yeah, I, I never claimed to be the best driver, but uh, yeah, crashing into every corner probably isn't the best choice, best option, that shouldn't be possible. So let's add some colliders on the edges of the road and make it so that if I touch them, I die. Now let's give this another go. Great. Oh my god. No, man. Fuck. Ugh. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, come on. Oh my god, yes, finally, man. Okay, so if you saw any of my last two videos on making an AI for Flappy Bird or the Chrome Dinosaur game, then you can probably guess the AI that I'm going to be using for this video. That's right, it's neat. So to quickly run it down for those who don't know, it basically replicates evolution like in real life. So a population of cars will be created and given a brain which will be very smooth in the beginning, but over time through making the correct actions like accelerating and gaining distance on the track without crashing, they evolve to continue making those correct decisions by reproducing with each other and creating a child that is hopefully better than the parents and has a nice well-rounded brain. And the process just repeats and repeats until they can just about perfectly make it around the track. And that's how neat works for you in a nutshell. So if you look here, this is essentially what the AI will see. They will have a load of rays shooting out of itself and it will receive the distance to the obstacle it hits, which is just the edges of the road. So it's kind of like how a bat would use echolocation, kind of. To make it more clear, if I remove the track, this is exactly what they will see. Based on this, it has to decide whether to go forwards, backwards, turn left, or turn right. So without further ado, let's get this AI in action. The first few generations are stupid and just slam into the wall. Oh, looks like we got a lucky one with generation six. This bad boy got far, so he's gonna have a very high score. generation 14, we finally see that the cars start to replicate the best performing one.
Generation 40, they got around that tight corner. we go baby that's what I'm talking about the first lap completed At generation 53, you know what? I'd say the cars can go around the track almost perfectly. They're not entirely perfect. They do slow down in some areas where they could go faster. And I'm sure if I let it run for a hundred more generations, then they would be better optimized for speed. But you know what? Screw it. I'm happy with this. AI completed. If you guys like this kind of content, subscribe. It's free. Why not? And if you're new here, check out my last video on the Chrome Dinosaur AI just absolutely destroying the game. See you guys.